Americans over the age of 70 have a combined net worth of over $70 trillion. That is equivalent to nearly three times the gross national product. And it amounts to nearly 30% of all the wealth in the entire United States. Over the course of the next several decades, nearly all of that money is gonna be transferred via inheritance. And if you stick around for this video, I'm gonna go over some of the ways that it's already impacting tax policy, investing strategies, and the housing market. One of the most common themes of the Biden presidency has been higher taxes. He promised that he was gonna raise taxes before the election, and he has not stopped talking about it ever since. Now, repeatedly, the administration has said that they're only interested in raising taxes on the super rich. But what they really have their sights on is this $70 trillion. What are the two things that keep coming up again and again? Capital gains and the step-up value. Under current law, if grandma and grandpa bought a house in Orange County, California back in the 60s for $40,000, and today it's worth over a million. If they died and that house was passed on to their heirs, the heirs would not inherit grandma and grandpa's cost basis. The cost basis would be stepped up to the value when they inherited it. In other words, all of that appreciation from $40,000 all the way up to a million would be 100% untaxed. Now, this is the same accounting method used for any appreciating asset, including stocks and even businesses. What the Biden administration is proposing is to eliminate that step-up basis and to tax the heirs when they inherit the asset, not when they sell it. Now, there are countless examples of how they try to disguise their true motives by saying it's only about getting more taxes from the super rich. Comments like this from Elizabeth Warren want you to believe that people like Jeff Bezos are the enemy. Now, it's easy to get behind something like this if you feel like you're not making enough money. But let me let you in on a little secret that Elizabeth Warren is never going to tell you. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, you're the one with the employee mindset, and you're the one that has the problem. Why don't you educate yourself and figure out how you can be the one writing the paychecks? Even if you think Jeff Bezos has too much wealth, just for a second, consider all the wealth that he's created for millions of other people. First, the employees. Not only the income and the benefits, but any type of company stock purchase plans that may have been available. Second, all the subcontractors who helped build the Amazon warehouses and all the other internal infrastructure. Third, all those business owners that now have a brand new channel to sell all their products through. And finally, all the investors. All you would have had to have done is buy some Amazon stock and allow Jeff Bezos to do all the work. As his company became more successful, your financial portfolio would be successful as well. Which brings us to the second area this immense wealth transfer is going to impact, investing strategies. Do you realize that when someone inherits money, over 70% of the time, the very first thing they do is fire the financial advisor? Now, I know it sounds easy enough. Open an online trading account, pay the reduced commissions, and manage your own money. But don't underestimate the importance of experience. And the way to gain experience is to make a lot of mistakes. So if you begin making investment decisions with your own money, you should probably count on losing some money at first, which will have an impact on your long-term investing capabilities. I believe the biggest obstacle to anyone acquiring wealth is how they perceive money. If you agree with some of the statements that Elizabeth Warren makes, about people like Jeff Bezos being evil. You're gonna put yourself in a spot where you're not gonna be able to uncover strategies that you can use. Let me give you an example. First of all, I don't have $40 billion worth of stock to work with. But when I first heard this, I thought it was brilliant. People like Gary Ellison, Elon Musk, and Jeff Bezos are able to use their stock as collateral on lines of credit. They don't sell the stock, so they don't pay capital gains and they still receive all the dividend income from the stocks because they haven't been sold. And any money that they borrow to make purchases is not income, so that's not taxed. Elizabeth Warren will tell you that this is just another example of how the super rich abuse the system. But guess what? You can use the same strategies. You might not be dealing with billions of dollars, but if you can learn from the people who have demonstrated an ability to make money, you increase the chances of you learning how to make money for yourself. The final area I want to talk about 
is how this immense wealth transfer could impact the housing market. One of the biggest reasons we've seen this surge in home prices over this last year is because people have too much money. If you're looking at a $400,000 house and you are willing and able to pay $600,000 for it, that means you have at least $200,000 just laying around. There are a lot of people in other parts of this world that don't have that kind of option. Now this older generation has already been helping their children and their grandchildren for quite some time. They've paid for college tuitions. They've helped with down payments on cars and on houses and might have even helped setting up investment or retirement accounts. When this wealth transfer happens, there's going to be a substantial increase in the buying power of these younger generations. And it could very well fuel increased prices for real estate because real estate is one of the best investment vehicles. All we have to do is make sure the government doesn't levy unfair and burdensome taxes on us and we somehow learn to make sound financial decisions. So any inheritance that we might receive only gets bigger so that we can pass that on to future generations. Now you might want to check out the video I did on the Austin housing boom. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. All of my contact information is in the video description. So don't be shy. Let's make your real estate dreams come true.